back to Tri-Valley Sports Pro. I'm Ian Bartholomew alongside Dr. B, and we're back with a whole new show. We've got softball from the Livermore Stampede. We also have girls lacrosse as Amador takes on Carondelet. And a little later, we'll talk to a former Olympian about her induction into the Tri-Valley Sports Hall of Fame. So we got a big show tonight. Big show. I'm so fired up about the Livermore Stampede. I'm wearing my uh, wine sh uh, country shirt. I thought it was a wine shirt, but I, it's wine country. And I'm fired up. They, yeah, they took good care of us out at the Stampede, and I'll tell you what. Uh, when you have teams like the Old Valley Heritage and Sheldon, that's a great tournament. They got them going. Every game was good. And I'll tell you what, uh, Amador uh, played very well and got uh, a lot of good defense in this game as Amador beats the Old Valley 3-2. to two. All right, we go to Ernie Rodriguez Park. Beautiful field. Here we go. Bottom of first. Bryce, a comebacker. Oh, she'll get on there. Uh, because of the error, and then she'll motor down to second. But Haley Douglas gets a K right there, sit down. And she will come uh, out of this game with great stuff and getting big pitches all day long. Watch the defense. Maggie Horn looking like a big league third baseman, playing great. All right, now, speed kills. A little walk to start the fourth. At Chevea will walk. Now watch this one. She will motor quickly. Wow pitch at Chevea moves to second. And then watch her steal third. At Chevea slides in. She almost gets home, but the ball is smothered. Now that puts her at third. And watch Borchard. She'll walk. And then McKeon with the key base hit. At Chabea scores, it's one to nothing. Uh, will they hold the lead there with plays like Ed Chabea? Nice hit, McKeon. And here comes Ed Chabea making a nice play there uh, off the bag uh, to get the runner. We go to top of five, still one to nothing. Runners are on first. And then Maggie Horn will get a base hit. Now we got two on. All right. You gotta play defense on this, and if you get a pass ball, the runners will advance in softball and put them in scoring uh, scoring position. Okay, watch Bloom. Another base hit to right field. They're hitting to right field all day. RBI. The Dons are up three to two, looking good. The pitcher Haley Douglas, another base hit to right field. Three to nothing at this point. And they are all hitting the ball to right field. Okay, we go to Pinole Valley. They'll make a little ra uh, rally here. Shipley's on second. And Cookie Kuykendall. Cookie doubles in the outfield. Shipley scores. And all of a sudden, it's a tight game. But Douglas, as I said, not necessarily a strikeout pitcher, rises to the occasion, gets a strikeout as Amador wins 3-2. A nice win there. You see the numbers, and Douglas is the winner in this game, and she gets five Ks, but two of them ended innings. Okay, after the game, I uh, got a chance to talk to uh, the coach and uh, Haley and uh, talk a little bit about their team. And, uh, of course, uh, the key things are the defense and the hitting are improving. Our Amber Dons are doing really well this year. We, uh, we're struggling a little bit right now with hitting, but we'll get there. We have a really good defense and really positive attitudes out there. We're working hard and um, doing well. Uh, we look forward to uh, playing in the EBL this, uh, and winning some games. We've got a really tough league we play in, and everybody's good, and it's, everybody's beating each other, but we're, we're hoping to do well. I'm very excited about my team. We have some great depth in pitching. We have Haley Douglas. We have Crystal Williams, a freshman. We have Zoe Price. Uh, we have Kim Grano. So um, as far as our defense, we're pretty sound. Um, you know, we're still a little bit young, but we're sound. Hitting's coming around. Yeah, and I, I think, uh, you know, a Amador is a team that, uh, you know, if Douglas is getting ground balls and, and getting key strikeouts, and if they get her some runs, 
uh, they can make a little noise in EBL because they are a good defensive team. They they really play good defense, and uh, I think that's one of the keys to their success. And uh, Douglas has been pitching very well lately. Yeah, uh, she had does. 20 strikeouts against San Ramon Valley on Tuesday. Yeah. They won that game one to nothing in yeah. uh, extra innings and 11 innings. Yeah. And uh, so when Douglas is pitching well, the Dons do well. And uh, as Coach says, they're getting some hitting too. So they're they're playing pretty well right now. Yeah, yeah, they are. And, and she is, you know. Uh, she's going to University of Central Florida, mm -hmm. uh, and, and any time you get a Division One scholarship, you got to be pretty good. She also threw a no-hitter when she was a yeah. freshman, so she's a veteran pitcher, and I think she's uh, really in good shape now, and her fastball is moving good. So I think uh, the Dons are in contention. Uh, to give maybe Livermore and Foothill real uh, troubles in that league. Yeah, and the, and the league is, uh, we've talked about a million times, the league uh -huh. is just so difficult yeah. that really anybody can beat anybody on yeah. a given day, even though it's very cliché to say that. But uh, the league is tough from top to bottom. We know that. It yeah. always has been. Yeah, two or three losses could win yeah. this league. You know, every, every team's going to have them. So mm -hmm. uh, just, I, I like Amador, the way they play defense. And uh, uh, you saw me here make key plays uh, right. time and again and leave runners on base. So, yep. Yep. That's gonna move on. That's yeah. going to do it for Amador for this week. After the break, we'll have more action from the Stampede as Livermore takes on Castro Valley and Foothill meets Heritage. That plus Amador, Carondelet, Girls Lacrosse.